Hello, my, my name is Dr. Dick Vassalo, and I am doing a video on a, um, I always see this online along with um, other operations all mixed together. And I think with these, well, it's three chapters, but the first two chapters, one I'm going to do today, next one next week. And, um, but this one's about the um, Tlaka um which is, um, Person of Bundle of Ashes, I guess you could say. Um, which is interesting because in the Spanish on the Spanish part of the text, it says fantasma, which means ghost. But it's more of a supernatural being, I guess you could say. And um, anyway, let's start the chapter. Um, Twelfth chapter, in which is related what was another omen whose name was Bundle of Ashes. Likewise, there was an omen which was important to them in the Bundle of Ashes. Thus was it said, indeed, all this is the disguise, the reappearance, the apparition of the Sklipoka. When it was seen, it only went rolling, growing, and billowing. He who saw it held it as an omen that he would die, either in war or of some sickness, or that something evil would meet and fall upon him. Whoever was not strong and sturdy of heart, who was just a coward, if it appeared to him, only fled and ran from its um, presence. Then it frightened the terrified him, least soon he die or something evil should come upon him, etc. But he who was sturdy of heart, one who was renowned as intrepid in war, then prepared array and bedight himself. Then he thus took counsel with himself. At night he would hunt the wizard, um, Nawali, um, who walks everywhere. He went into pursuit of him on all the wide ways where he dwelt at night. He went seeking it that perchance somewhere in would appear to him that he might demand from it his reward, his gift, thorns. And if now one appeared before him, this one, he sought it out and seized it, he grasped it firmly with his hands and clung to it. Not now did he let it go. He tortured it. He said to it, Who thou art thou, O rogue? Speak to me. Fail not to speak, for I have taken thee, and I should not let thee go. For a long time he persisted in torturing it. When it, when it spoke to and answered him, if now he vexed it, when perhaps... It was about dawn and morning to break. It said to him, Loose me now, thou harmest me. Whoever they thou heart wisheth, I shall give it thee. What should I give thee? It said, Take it, I give thee a thorn. I will not have it. I will not take it. What should I do? It offered him two, three, four thorns. Verily, not for them did he lose it. Later, when it gratified and satisfied him, it now said, I give thee all prosperity. Thou shalt be honored on earth. Then he released it. Um, in the Nahuatl text here, in the, it says, um, Kikoa. Um, but it's supposed to be, it's Kikuanguaya. Um on the releasing part. Um, for in truth, he had realized what his heart sought, for what he had lived, citing and in discounted, discount, counted, um, etc. And that's about it. And that is about the um, Tlaka Neshki Mili. Anyway, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.